Hello and welcome to the PHP and MySQL tutorial series. This is the first tutorial and um, in this tutorial we'll look at how to basically um, install um, a PHP development environment and get it all set up and implemented so that we can start writing code in PHP and MySQL um, locally and testing it out before actually implementing on the web. So um, if you haven't used PHP and MySQL before, PHP is basically a server-side scripting language. So it does all the processing and all the work on the server, not on the actual, um, no, not by the browser or the user's browser. So it's done on the server. It's a server-side scripting language and it's mostly used for web development, but can also be used for general purpose programming. Um, MySQL, also known as MySQL, is an open source relational database management system, or DBMS. Um, the SQL part stands for Structured Query Language. So um, it's a language used to manage databases, um, to add records, delete records, update records in databases, manage tables, um, run different queries and searches for data. So um, MySQL, it's a popular choice for implementing databases on the web. It's used by heaps and heaps of websites um, like Google, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Flickr. So um, basically, if you're wanting to run a, wit, uh, a, a rich web application um, and you're wanting to actually you know, do things on the web, like be able to have user accounts and um, uh, provide services for users on the web and do more than just present information um, or static information, then PHP and MySQL is a really good choice. Um, so that's what we'll be doing in this series. We'll be um, developing web applications and managing databases um, to run behind a website using those two languages. To get started, to um, Run the uh, to write your own code and test it locally on your own machine. You'll need to download a PHP development environment. Okay, and one that I've got here. I'm on the website here. Is Xamp. Um, there's different ones for Windows and Mac, but Xamp is really cool because it's for both Windows, Mac, and Linux. So some of them are just Windows or just Mac. This works for both Windows and Mac as well as Linux. Um, so XAMP, it's um, got everything you need there for PHP and MySQL. It's not a very big download. Um, so you need to download that and install it. When you're installing it, make sure you tick all the options so don't exclude anything in the installation. And once it's installed, um, if you um, have a Windows computer, it will be in your programs folder. And if you have a Mac, it will be in your applications folder. So if you go into Finder and Applications, um, there will be a folder called XAMP. Okay, so it's pretty much the same for Windows, and these tutorials will um, be very similar for both Windows and Mac, but I'll be running it on a Mac. Okay, so if you go into that folder, um, there's a, f a few different folders in there. If you go into htdocs, that's where all of your um, files will be stored um, that you can actually run your website on. So um, everything's there. If you go to your launch pad, you should have a folder there as well. First thing that you'll need to do is run the manager. So I've got here manager OS X. Run the okay, so um, the XAMP manager should come up after clicking on that. And um, there's a few options here. There's welcome screen, manage servers, and application log. You need to go to manage servers and you need to um, turn on this Apache web server. So click on that and click on start to actually run it. Um, so nothing will really work until you start running that. And you can also start running the MySQL database as well. So we won't really be using that in this tutorial, but um, we will be pretty soon. And so to actually work with your database, you'll need to make sure that's running. So um, we can have both of those running for now. And if you ever have any problems, you need to start it and stop it. You can click on start all, stop all, 
or restart all there as well. Go back to welcome and then you can click on go to application and that will open. So in your browser, it will open localhost um, slash dashboard. To get to here, you can just type in localhost and it will take you to that page. You can also type in 127.0.0.1 and it will take you to the same page. All right, so when it's running, you'll get this page. If you don't have the um, PHP or Apache server running um, here in the manager, then you won't get this page. It just won't load, all right? Um, a few pages you can click on, like PHP info, gives you some information about the version and different settings, and PHP my admin as well. And this is actually where you go to set up all the tables in your database. Um, and different fields and everything there. So, um, after downloading it, that's what you need to do. Type in localhost, check that it's working, and now we'll actually write a very simple PHP file um, to check that everything is actually really working. So, what you'll also need in addition to um, XAMPP is a script editor or code editor. Any text editor will do, but I recommend something like Sublime Text um, or Notepad++. If you're running a Mac, just get Sublime Text or something like that. Um, Notepad++, as far as I'm aware, does not run on Mac. Okay, so click on File, click on Save As to begin with, and make sure, I'm already in this folder, but I'll show you how to get there. Go to Applications, and the folder that is storing XAMPP, so this one here, XAMPP, you might have chosen to install it somewhere else, but that's where it should be by default. Then go to htdocs. That's a shortcut. You can either double click on that to go straight to it, or you can go to xamp files and then htdocs there. It'll take you to the same place. There's a few files already there, um, but we're gonna call this one test.php. Okay, to start with, we need to put in the PHP tag. So we'll put an angle bracket, question mark, PHP and we'll close it up with a question mark and another closing angle bracket. Um, then what we'll do, we'll just indent this and we'll put echo, which is kind of like writing, um, if you've been using C Sharp or Java, JavaScript, um, sorry, C Sharp or Python, it's a bit like writing print. So we'll write echo and then in quotation marks, single or double, write hello world. Okay, close that quotation mark add a semicolon on the end there and save it. Okay, then we can go to Chrome and we can type in localhost slash test.php. There we go. So if you see that message there, hello world, that's great, it means it's working. If you get an error or you don't see that page at all, then something hasn't been set up correctly. You need to make sure that if you go into the XAMPP manager, you need to make sure that your web server is running, it's turned on, um, and uh, check the error message, look it up, make sure you fix any problems there if it's still not running. Um, but if it's all running properly, then you should see hello world, um, and you're ready to start coding in PHP and MySQL. All right, thanks for watching.